Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for episode two of season six of Legends of Tomorrow. The gang is now aware that Sarah's missing and on the hunt. A couple, we got a new member of the team, Spooner, who is a previous alien abductee, supposedly got an implant in their chip that allows them to communicate with aliens. And they're trying, the team tracks her down to try to use her mind chip alien connection thing to try to locate Sarah. In the meantime, Gary and Sarah are on a spaceship. Sarah breaks herself out uh, to find out later that it was through the help of Gary that she was able to get out this entire time. I don't know if this is a, an Earth Prime rewrite because there are some things that have happened in the past with Gary that contradict what is going on with the current storyline. But apparently, according to this, he has been an alien who has been infiltrating Earth to pick up their best warriors for an unknown purpose over the many years. Um, and he's been disguising himself with these glasses. If he takes off his glasses, he reveals his true alien form. And throughout his time being on Earth, he's fallen in love with the human race, the human species, and particularly the legends. So he feels bad about it. So that's why he helps Sarah escape the ship. He's there with his alien fiance, who is the one captaining this ship and cargoing it to wherever its destination is. But he helps Sarah escape and during the whole kerfuffle, his fiance and all of the other candidates that were on board are ejected into the time stream. And thus, we kind of have our setup for the rest of the season. They're going to be cleaning up this mess of aliens that have been unleashed into time. So let's see how that whole thing unfurls. So I don't know how y'all felt about the first episode. I was a little mixed on it. It was very rushed. It was a little scattered, but it was very legends and it was very interesting it was pretty funny. I got some laughs out of it, and that's all I want when I come for Legends, man. It's a palate cleanser when compared to all the other superhero stuff going on, and that's what I love it for. But guys, remember, just like with this and everything else, full unedited reactions are available on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the channel, get you access to the same stuff. And uh, yeah, that having been said, let's go ahead and jump into episode two. Here we go. So there are aliens scattered throughout history. Mm. <laughs> and on our windshield. <laughs> <laughs> it appears we already have a bite, so to speak. Where? Sam Bernardino. All right, let's get into it. October 10th, 1955, San Bernardino, California. A town known as the birthplace of fast food. The anomaly seems to have started at Big Bang Burger. And within 24 hours, San Bernardino went from bustling suburban enclave to... Uh, what? The entire population was killed overnight. Whoa! No survivors. Historians dubbed it the massacre on Main Street. Mm, I would have gone with um, suburban slaughter. Oh yeah, coming back to her serial killer podcasting. Dude, this is not a good time, man. I'm I'm hungry as it is. Cosmic mushroom burger. Why you think aliens are funny? Are you picking up any alien signals? Guys, hey, split up, mingle. Find out if anyone's seen anything that could lead us to the alien. Constantine barely looks different at all. He's just changed his shirt. All right. All right. Where'd they crash land? Where'd they crash land? Uh, but but I, I do know that we were hired by some power hungry space lord to gather the universe's most dangerous creatures. Power hungry space lord. We're on his planet. Galaxy's greatest warriors. Hunger games out there. Good news. I've got my deck of strong American women playing cards. <laughs> Bader Ginsburg. Dolores Huerta. <laughs> All the people to be stuck with. What is what is that? What the fuck? And it's wearing a scarf. Okay, Gary, resist the cuteness. You've been fooled by dogs before. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna follow that dog. Oh damn it. Anything special going on? Oh, it's always too hungry for this right now. Burgers are out of this world. Takes me back to my days at Burger Herder. Satisfying ache in my <laughs> forearm from the day flipping patties. You know, I've been thinking, bro. 
It's an abuse of his totem. The family heirloom. So you can dry your hair faster? I need another burger. Hey, 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 hey. Are you all right? Did you hear something? I can feel it. It's, it's hungry. Oh, where's it coming from, love? The cops? Maybe that way. The feeling's getting stronger. Alien in a waitress flesh suit? Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. What are you really? Jesus. I'm so sorry. My friend thought you were in. I, I, uh, someone else. I'm sorry. I felt it. Look, that thing is nearby. Believe me. Found the alien. Boy? You stole a cop car? <laughs> this thing loves meat. It must be how the massacre starts. Mm. Find it before it gets the taste for another kind of flesh. Uh, hey guys, we have a lead it's on the, the alien. burgers. To guard the burger joint. Already on it, Captain. Guess oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Size nine, right? We could use the handsome man out there. It's you. Me? Yeah. No. Okay. Let's get you on wheels. I've known you for three years, and I'm only now learning you're an alien. Wow. <laughs> I took some creative license with the details. You know, so I could fit in, just like Charlie. Lucky. It was a very meta comment. That's just a bloke in an alien's costume. Alien <laughs> disguised as a human, disguised as an alien. All oh, these things are good. That kid is not an alien. Would you stop pointing your gun? Why was he like grabbing at this raw fucking? Get him back to the med bay and see what we can find out. Well, hey, mm. this stays with me until after we talk to the alien. I guess I'm not the only intelligent life form on this planet. Who the blazes are you? What the fuck? Right back at you. Wait, are you Amelia Earhart? Amelia Earhart. <laughs> oh my Big god. Man. Wow. <laughs> the burger herder was where I started to find real meaning in life. The first place where people cared about me. Not because I was Dragon Girl's brother, but because I was Barra. So you're going to just keep hogging the totem as payback because you were jealous of me. Super mature. I wasn't jealous. Are you even listening? Just don't God, I hate her so much. Wait, Nate, don't serve that. They'll taste my bad vibes. Aww. <laughs> The scan confirms the subject's biology is 100% human. Well, if there is something in there, the divination of horse should do the Something trick. he's consumed. It all unwanted influences, giving you face time with whatever's in it. Carmen, Connie. <laughs> I'll finish that sentence. <laughs> oh, that's the alien. Well, you mean they're charging 25 cents extra to eat an alien? That's kind of a bargain, really. <laughs> That's why I was hearing it all over town. So if that parasitic condiment is the alien, fine. Like a parasite, it infects people and makes them crave more meat. Here I thought my short shorts were selling burgers. <laughs> oh, it's like that old movie, The Stuff. <laughs> Copy that, Ava. We'll 86 the hockey pucks on the fly. I, I'm so surprised that they themselves haven't actually eaten these things now what it looks like what are you smiling for it's those it's those two brothers the mick whatever <laughs> i don't know my wife makes it it's her secret recipe she won't even tell me uh, Eva, we got a problem. Okay, well, if we find it all, then Spooner should be able to talk to it. I swear if there's an alien she's, like, pumping it out of. I still don't understand. How did you end up here? Last thing I remember, I was soaring over the Pacific. Me and my navigator Fred almost done our flight around the globe. It was mission accomplished. When I woke up, Fred was gone and I was here. On the bright side, the food's good. Hey, hmm. Listen, so they, they have to be a different place in time, right? Because otherwise she would be like really old. Something's not right about that whole thing. Mm. Hell yeah. This is the spot. And he was bragging to everyone about how it's his wife's recipe and it's true. My little contribution to the family business. What's your secret ingredient? My secret ingredient? It's rice vinegar. Well, 
I the really fuck? Getting dinner started. Hmm. Mm. Um, I'll just see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not the nice couple for table six. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. I won't let her take you from me. God. So gross, man. Husband, even a policeman. You see, my wife. Well, she's my fiance. Never mind. <laughs> Sarah. She was abducted by aliens, and that's exactly what that thing is. I have no idea which part of that sentence makes the least sense. <laughs> I don't care what she is. Last Wednesday, I served Bert his favorite Salisbury steak. When something from the ceiling dripped onto his plate. <laughs> <laughs> If she's growing, that means we could franchise. <laughs> Finally, God. the demons will get the success they deserve. We'll be in every city, every state. Oh! <laughs> oh I hate to see this go down like that. Jesus. We need to calm these people down. Even a small dose will calm the most restless spirit. Yeah, but how do we get them to eat it? Burgers. Know what they want. Here, wait, wait, let me help. Sorry, are you sure? I learned from the best. Today, Did you learn anything at all? Won't let you take this. It's gonna hatch and eat her. I won't let you destroy our American dream. Oh my God. It sounds so much. It sounds so much like the Godzilla roar. I bet I know where it's going. More baddies coming in hot. Burger buddies. Hey guys, <laughs> we found the alien. How are we supposed to get it down? We need bait. Oh jeez. Oh no. to the ship so maybe I can talk to it uh yeah light it up <laughs> after the death of the owner of Big Bang Burger head waitress Sandy Sledge has decided to reopen the beloved diner under a new name Big Belly Burger Take this away from you. It's already yours, Z. The totem chose both of us. All right, I can't take this anymore. Uh, what? <laughs> the last thing I remember, I was soaring over the Pacific. Me and my navigator friend. She's on a loop. Oh friend. no! It was mission accomplished. I'm I'm going to assume that that alien uh, ate Amelia Earhart. All right. All right. I I honestly thought that was a more fun episode than the last one. I liked it, man. I like this one a lot. Again, the CGI, the the creature, the they're keeping up the budget for the aliens at least. I'm glad of that. I think it looked pretty good. I think that not like King Shark good, but pretty good. Um and it was there quite a bit. We got a, quite a lot of screen time for that thing. Seeing it in full view, eating both of the restaurant owner, owners, like how it turned into Big Belly Burger in the end. I kind of wondered if that was going to be the setup because I thought it'd be weird not for them to go back and do this burger chain thing and not mention it at all. Um, so I'm glad that kind of came back around. Bit odds and... Uh, Zari's whole back and forth thing with the totem. And I was like, I just... 
I can't with new Zari sometimes, man. I just, I really can't. Um, but she came around in the end of this episode. And we'll see how that goes. We saw original Zari and the totem listening to them bicker about sharing the totem. And she split it into two. Easy solution uh, for their bickering and how to manage them both sharing the, uh, this power. Um, I would I figure writing that consistently, like, would be difficult to see like, all right, well, who's going to use it this episode and why? Um, I liked it. I liked all the bits with Berod and, uh, doing the burger flipping, like him reminiscing on it, talking about the food, putting your vibes into the food. I like that whole bit. I just like, I like the era that they were in as well. And like the, how they've kind of played around with that. Definitely, definitely made me hungry. Um, we opened up uh, Spooner a little bit, got to know a little bit, more about what happened with her mother being abducted and her being left behind. Um, though that makes it sound like she didn't get abducted, but that her mom did, but then maybe she was abducted with her, but she was returned and her mother wasn't. Maybe I missed, misheard something in there. Um, I'm still, since there's nothing in her head, I'm wondering if she's, like I said earlier in the episode, I don't know if I'm leaving it in or not, but I like get that, uh, think maybe she might actually just be a meta and maybe that's her power since Gideon wasn't able to find anything actually in her head um I don't know it's really interesting then of course we got Gary and Sarah who crash landed on this planet we find this Amelia Earhart and this golden retriever and obviously that was bait for whatever that creature was um but it was a nice little play on what happened there I, I'm assuming like she flew across the Pacific and then just entered a wormhole and landed here and this thing probably ate her, took her memories or maybe played this, a similar kind of trick on her to get her to like stay behind before she was ready to be eaten. Um, so I heard some of her stories and then repeated them and repeated that cycle. Uh, then we got Sarah getting bit by whatever it was by the, the tendril that came out of its mouth. Who knows what that's going to do? Is going to implant her with a with a parasite? It's going to it did it poison her? Did it implant an egg in her? What did it do? Leaving Gary behind to take care of her as these lights encroach upon them try to find them. Hopefully they're friendlies. Probably not. It seems like I'm wondering how long through the season this is going to be the thing we're dealing with, like them surviving on the planet. Um, I know in the trailer we see Sarah back with the team, so I would imagine maybe this will probably last a few more episodes, if not up until the mid-season finale, to see before they get back together. I don't know. It was a fun episode. I really had fun with this one. Uh, I thought the chemistry and everything and just the playfulness of the time period with the burger joint aspect of it, it was very gross. Very gross. But I had a lot of fun with this episode. Don't really have anything else to say with it. I hope they keep up the CGI. I mean, they got a lot of aliens to coming about uh, for the rest of the season. So keep that thing going, man. Um, so yeah, sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Huge shout out to our patron legends, Mandy Share, Antoine Rodriguez, and Ryan Karen. Thank you guys for your support. Remember, full un unedited reactions are available over our Patreon or if you become a member to the YouTube channel itself. Discord channel link is in the description as well as links to all of our social media accounts. Follow me. Hang out, chat, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Legends of Tomorrow. Take care, everybody.